Character designs provided by Demon Artie. Be sure to check her out over on her social media platforms. Links to her Twitter and Instagram are going to be in the description down below. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sen. Invitee yeah, PCA. Data 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord. Link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. So we didn't get a trailer for Strange New Worlds. I absolutely hate that title. It makes it sound like Buck Rogers in the 22nd century. So it sounds like uh, Rid- Ridley's Believe It or Not. Because or it's they're strange in the space. It's they, just they, stupid sounding. They took sounding. the one line from the, net, from the original series and they go, we explored Strange New Worlds and they're taking it and making it a title. That's so stupid. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a, it makes it sound too hokey. Yeah, it does. Well, we got the guy who plays Pike, I think he's a 10 out of 10. Why does he have gray hair now? We don't know. I don't know. He re- they, they couldn't replicate just for men anymore? <laughs> <I know. laughs> it was, it was because policy. he looks just like him. Oh, he does. He looks like he could have been, because he's a little more bigger, a little more stocky, classic Zap Brannigan captain. But that's know. what he's supposed to look like. Yeah. So, okay. He, he's a, he, I like him. The guy that got to play Spock, when he's not well effed up like he was in uh, Discovery. Discovery, he does a pretty decent Spock. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Does. It's pretty good. Then we, we start getting into uh, the, the number one lady. Here's the thing. I know she didn't have much of an actual role in the original like show. She's had the one episode. The one episode. So this lady playing her, <laughs> she's a lot more complicated than you think. Well, how do you know what I think? Well, we also, only literally only have one episode to go off of, so shut the hell up. And also, not to be mean, all Star Trek characters are pretty in depth when you actually like look at them. So of course, yeah. There's yeah. No so, but well, 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 enough, not the new Star Trek. Yeah, not the new ones. But not why the new did track. why did you say it like? <laughs> oh, because <laughs> you. Idiots. I'm gonna you show you what she's stupid, doing. Like. Stupid idiots. I don't know what she says. You're such a moron. You idiots. <laughs> she like punches the camera. Yeah, she's calm down. I think you're pretty, and I think you're pretty hot, but that only goes so far with me. <laughs> I know. You're <laughs> starting to annoy me now. You're starting to annoy me with this I'm better than you attitude. And then she's gonna have that in the show, guarantee it. Oh, I'm a woman and you can't tell me anything. Then so she looks then like Then we get a horror. Well, she was never on Pike Ship, by the I way. Do, I don't think she, oh cadet. Yeah, but even then, I don't think was she ever on the Enterprise. Was that a thing? Not when Pike was there. That I recall never. Because remember, she got assigned to the Enterprise. When when Kirk took over. I, okay. So <laughs> then you see the girl playing a horror. I'm like, okay. Then you see her on the show. <laughs> they did everything to make an attractive woman unattractive. They, everything they could. I feel bad because the whole head shaving. Completely shaved. Yeah, beautiful long hair, and she looked like a woman. I'm sorry. Because when they're talking to the girl. Like the the actress, oh, like, oh, oh so perfect, you know. Okay, then on the show they literally we're gonna have to make you dumpy as possible. That wasn't a horror. She was a pretty woman. The horror, the one, the lady who played Gamora played her in the movies was a pretty woman. This is not a pretty woman. Well, well, they're not, they, they make her then that, that shaved head, that super kind of super short. Yeah. My 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 mom and sister watched that. Uh, I forget what it is, but it's like a police show. And there's like a woman who's on the firefighters team, and you keep forgetting it's a woman because she's so stocky and Doesn't so. Look like this. Yeah, she looks like that girl. But then again, you can be stocky and be fine. Look at uh, the ca- girl that played Dune, the Cara Dune. Yeah, but she's still pretty. She had long this is, hair. This is she'll have nice. the same pretty. This is not. It's, and then it's an iconic character, and you're changing. Yeah, it. they made her all like. Well, well, I guess she came to her senses when she got older. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> then, then we get um, the do- character. Um, we get the and Dorian. Then Dorian, but he's an albino and Dorian. I don't know if they're going to actually follow this. They should, but they should have um, psychic abilities, right? And they're blind; they yeah. can't see. They they see with their their senses, their their psychic Ooh, ability. That'd be interesting. See, that's interesting, right there. Okay, that interests me, right there. If they follow that, because when you give me a cool alien character, I like Andorians. I think they're cool, and I, yeah. I like them because they're a classic species. Yeah, and uh, it's one that we don't see in the future because well, they, you only see them in Enterprise; they're yeah. isolated. But I'm sure by Kirk's time, they were probably more right, open right. in their part of society. So then we get a character that was only in two episodes, some doctor guy. And Benga? Yeah, yeah. He, okay. Well, Whatever, it's only in two episodes, yeah. but okay, fine. I mean. But he's like a super thick accent. Yeah. Like, but he didn't originally yeah. have an accent. So too. they wanted to have like that. So I'm like, okay, that, that's fine. Then we get the new characters and we get one girl who has the same name as, as Khan, Khan Singh. And her last name is Singh. There, okay, there is no way they made that... Uh, it cannot be a coincidence. This See, um, is she genetically enhanced like him? Does she have some of those genetics? That would be cool. There you go. Something and, interesting. And it's something secret like where they're looking up like, oh, your past, it's all been blocked out. Yeah. And well, then, then we she, know that man, she's related to Singh. Yeah. 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 That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Then we get um oh. the, the Rodriguez girl from Alien. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, first of all, you see in the chair, 
okay, she seems kind of, uh, you know, she's muscular, it's but jacked. pretty. Yeah. You know, she has a hair slick back, you know, she has hair super short, but she's a very pretty woman. We cut to her character in the show. Hey! They went out of the way to make her as ugly as possible. Oh. They took two pretty women and made them as frumpy Why? and floopy and floppy that. as possible. It, it, they can like, be pretty. It's fine. Well, especially like you said, like her hair was back. Like, yeah, make it stay back. I like that. You know. And like, they even did. They had a girl at Nurse Chapel. She's close. Oh yeah. She's at least she's in the ballpark of what she looked like. All right. Eh, okay. So, it's like banga. It's okay. It's, but it isn't. But know what I liked about it is when when the guy playing Pike was talking. Yeah. Because he sounds like someone who cares. Yeah. But I don't know about the show. Yeah, it's kind of... Mm. I want to know about the Andorian and Singh. Those are the two characters, the new characters I want to know about. I want to see Spock again if he's acting spastic. And I want to see Pike. And there's, a, else? and there's a million rumors out there. Because how much of the show is going to be filled with LGBTQ representation, pronouns, um, identity things, things that social would... politics. How much of that's going to be in the show? Yeah, Which one they limited all that. Right. We, we, we literally moved past all of that. That's yeah. what makes the big trek beautiful. Because we're no longer... Americans or Caucasians or Mexican or Asian. We're just humans. And, there is, and we're right, from Earth. Totally, and that's totally, it. Yeah. Yeah. We're just humans from Earth. Everything that's what we see ourselves as Earthlings first before anything else. Yeah. We yeah. got past all of that. We're, we're the Federation now. We're yeah. the Federation of planet Earth. That is the main goal. If you know Gene Roberts' vision is that he used to travel around the world and he saw all these different cultures. Go, wouldn't it be amazing if we all work together as one great thing? And that's why he wanted to make Star Trek. Not make it all divisive and we're division and I'm this and you're that and it wasn't. You have about your that. cultural heritage and the things that you yeah. connect like with Chakotay yeah. and things like that where he had like his Especially connections. Benjamin Cisco too, yeah, with but, the African mask and everything he had in his supporters, but, but it wasn't everything. He never introduced himself as, "Oh, I'm a a human being that's ancestors came from." Africa. Like he did, it was just you're just a human. Yeah, yeah. Because especially at that point, you're so far beyond all that. <laughs> and here. Yeah. Here's the thing, and the, the the rumors is that they're gonna make Spock like bisexual or make him I gay. Hope not. Gosh, here's the thing, what, but, but what purpose? First they had, first they made him um, dyslexic. Dyslexic. Well, they would never have that in that time. Especially, Especially Vulcan. But they, they of all that. But it's it's trendy. I know. Here's the thing. I I mix up my numbers. Uh, it, numbers more than words. Like at work, we have a number we have to plug in, and I have to re- I have to actively think about it in my mind because if I don't. I'll mix up the numbers. Right. So I have a little bit of that dyslexia. It, but it's not like, oh, that's my superpower. No, that's just something I deal with. Yeah, no, you don't make fun of people for that, but at the same time, it's not a great yeah, thing. Yeah, don't give me a badge of honor just because I <laughs> screw up my numbers want. sometimes. That's what they want. <laughs> oh, it's so, a special power. But here's the thing. If it's just them, classic Trek, uh, and they're like, oh, on uh, today's mission, you know, like start date, blah, blah, blah. We need to provide evacuation efforts for a yeah. planet. Like, and, and, and then there's an issue that happens. I wonder if those Andorians left the moon and actually live on Andorian now. See, that's interesting. I want to know about that. The Not history. about the hymns and hers and the See, them pronouns. That, and, that's I don't the care thing. About and that, that was never in track. I'm never, sorry. Never, never, never. And, and it wouldn't be in track because, like you said, he moved past it. And if any time you wanted to show anything that was wrong, it'd be an alien race that yeah. could show that and reflect. Like on the that. Ferengis were a reflection of our greed. Yeah, right. and that's like, even yeah, like how even Quark threw that in Cisco's face. He's like, I oh, don't no, I think you guys don't like it because they remind you of you guys. And right. then what yeah. thing is but that it's still in you. That that and then I you for... guys even did slavery. Cisco looked at them like you're gonna throw that at me. Yes. Yeah, so. Like yeah, we've never done that. We've never yeah, done we that. never <laughs> slaved people. people. So, but that's how you reflect. Modern problems in Trek is through other means. No, it's the humans that no. have the problem. No, no, it's supposed to be a morality play, but on them yeah. and reflecting it on us, not as opposed to, oh, this is more like now. No, that's not what Star Trek was. Star Trek was never about that. Or no. even another thing, like with Quark, when he said, you know, I was talking to his nephew and he's like, you know, never trust the humans. He's like, well, I know, the Federation's great. And he's like, it's like, yeah, they're good now. Take away some of their stuff, you know, throw the pleasantries. Them, pleasantries. They're worse than a clean arm. Yeah, they'll kill you like a clean arm. Even worse. And yeah, they're, like, they're, they're wonderful, delightful people when they got everything. They right. got their food, their replicators, and everything. But take that away for a month or two. Then we'll see what they're like. See, that's interesting. And what I love about that because that's human nature. That's, that's in you all of us. But you know what I know the best part about it is? I do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> that's so terrible. I love it, baby. No, 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 if I had a second chance, I'd do it all the same. <laughs> but see, but that's what I love because then again, it goes down to human nature. Like, yes, we are evolving. But yes, there's that dark part of us that's like, yeah, if it's do or die, uh, humans are going to do what we need to do mm-hmm. to survive. See, but this, I just, I just don't know. Right, Here's right. the thing: n- none of that. It, it could, be, it could be the most wonderful Trek show since D Space Nine, for all I know. I want it to be. Yeah, I want it. I to want be. it to be better than D Space Nine. Yeah, but yeah. 
I'm worried mm-hmm. because of all the crap of today and the crap with, with Kirk's and, well, and the thing is because we didn't get a real trailer. If we got a real trailer, I can only imagine what it's going to be in See, it. but I want it to be episodic. I Not like, the universe is ending and we got to save it. Every season of Discovery and Picard's been that. But the end of the universe, we have to save it. Can we, guys, yes, that did happen in Star Trek, but not every season. Right. They were just exploring. Maybe there'll be some local thing happening or like a, 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 the, the Romulans maybe joining up with the Klingons, but not like, oh, the universe is ending. Nothing like that. Right. Maybe more stuff that happens behind the scenes yeah. that are like we're stopping it before it becomes even like a little incident. Yeah, exactly. Not, it's so stupid. It's just, I don't know. It's not ridiculous. world ending. Universe destroying. ending. I mean, my goodness. And that's what this season discovery is like that too. Yeah, another thing. Discovery's an end of the another end of the world thing. Gosh, Again. I'm tired of Again. it. That's four so, seasons so, in a row. So we're gonna have Michael Burnham save the universe four seasons in a row. And you know what makes <laughs> you know what makes me mad too, especially with with uh, disco. Um, why don't you just do a season building the empire, building uh, the Federation back? Yeah. Like How about let's learn what happened to the Klingons? Yeah. yeah. What happened? We don't know. Idea. They didn't swoop in. We know what happened to the Romulus. We don't know what happened to the Do You think they just sit there, dumped their dirt, even without, even without crystal, they would have used what they got left and conquered as many planets as they could. Oh, no, we're not doing that. We're oh, past yeah, sure. now. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, clean ons. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Especially the clean ons on that show. Yeah. The way they yeah. acted the and orcs. discovered. I know. But, um, so, yeah, um, I don't know. I, they, again, like we said before, Prodigy looks like to be the only thing that looks like it feels like Trek. Yeah, so Which far. is ridiculous. But Which it, is insane. That's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.